So I'm at the monitor amp, subs amp, and tops amp. Once they're on, come back to your crossover and press the master mute in the middle, just this guy here. Unmute your input A, your input B, and your outputs two, three, four, and five. And that's pretty much everything done here. Death. First thing you do when you come up, unmute. So we're going to make sure the right scene is loaded up. So I'm going to go to scene and view. Page select over to Sean ETB new. Click that in. And yes, to load it up. Then I'm just going to get my master fader unmuted, turned up to zero. My bus fader, number one. I select bus one to eight. I'll mute bus one up to zero. Go to my reverb returns or my reverb send, sorry, which are on 13 to 16, so I just select that. There's my four reverb sends, unmute each one of them, and up to zero. And my reverb returns are over here, effects returns, so again, select effects returns, unmute the four of them, and up to zero. Cool, that's everything pretty much done there. I'm gonna turn my headphone volume up halfway. I'm going to turn my talkback level up to about 3 o'clock and then I'm just going to set up my talkback to make sure it's working. So I click view, go over here, make sure it's set to talkback A because that's what we're going talking through. Click in external mic, select bus 1 as the talkback destination. So just again, click it in and that should be talkback working. So you can hear me Paddy? No? Mm -hmm. or press? Oh yeah. Well, that was an important part of the exam we just missed. Oh, get, oh, wow. get this in the video. <laughs> I, I think for the exam it's alright, yeah. One, two, one, one, two. So you can hear me down there, Fred? Yeah. Sorry for calling you Paddy all the time. I called you Fred from now on, Paddy. I'm just switch names, it's grand. Freddy, Freddy now. <laughs> So yeah, just the only thing there, missed out obviously was turn up the amp, so don't forget that. Um, so basically what we're going to do now is name our channels, talkback is working, so I go to setup and across to scribble strip here, use page select. Channel 1 is going to be the vocal, so I'm just going to click in, give it a colour, look down here for something that represents vocal. So that's fine, vocals, click that in, click that in. That's channel one named over here. Channel two is gonna be guitar. So again, just look for something like an acoustic guitar. Click that in, click that in. Channel two named acoustic. And pretty much ready to get levels in. So do you want to play and sing for me? Yep. One, two, testing, one, two, one, two. So we're going to get the vocals in first. So we select the vocal, we solo the vocal, and you stick on your headphones, wherever they're. Stick on your headphones, make sure you're able to hear the voice once we're getting it in. <coughs> so if you want to talk for us there, Fred, I'm going to press view so that I can watch the vocal level come in here. Usually we'll aim for around the 12 to 6 mark here, but I'm going to keep it around 12 o'clock on my gain here, maybe 12 1, because I know when he starts singing, he's going to go louder than that. So take off solo on vocal, unmute your channel, push it through front of house. One, two, one, two, testing, one, two. Okay. One, two. So just play the guitar. Okay. So with the guitar, select solo the guitar, phantom power, turned on. And again, you're listening in your headphones while you're gaining in and you're watching your level come in again to around that minus 12, minus 6 mark here. So again, you can see my gain is up around 12 o'clock. Unmute your channel, bring up the guitar a bit. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Alright, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to mute my master volume and I'm going to send the guitar 
and the vocal to monitor one, which is bus one. So I'm going to select the guitar first, turn up bus one. Okay. So just give me a bit of vocal as well. Select the vocal and send the vocal to bus one. Manner again, make sure vocals are selected and again just push it through the bus here a bit more. One, two, three, five, much better. Thank you very much. Okay, bring back the level through the front of house. I'm just going to keep the front house turned down a bit here a sec so we can hear what I'm saying. So next I'm going to EQ his vocal, I'm going to select the vocal, I'm going to turn on the EQ, so don't forget to turn on the EQ here, click view to view it, and what I want to do is just give his vocal a boost at around 2 kilohertz, and I'm also going to put on a low cut filter, so first of all I'll put on the low cut filter, and I'm going to use a filter of 80 hertz. And then while Fred is talking into the mic, I'm, one, two, one, two, testing, one, two. I'm going to give it a boost in the highs Q. at around one, two. Two, one, 2 kilohertz. So one, two, testing, I've selected one, two, 2 kilohertz three, three, here, four, one, two. and I'm boosting it up about one, two, 6 one, dB, two. and I'm just making testing, it narrower. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay. One, two. Testing, testing, testing. And now I'm going to compress his vocal as well, so I'm going to turn on the compressor. One, two, one, two, testing, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two. I'm going to set the compressor, I'm going to view it here, I'm going to set the release to auto, so I'm going to click it in. If I want a slow or fast attack, it's fast on the left, it's slow on the right. So if I ask you for like a fast release, you'd set it to the left here for a fast release. I'm going to probably either ask you for a fast or slow or else just set it auto. If I ask for auto, you just click it in. Ratio, again, I'll ask you for 4 to 1, 5 to 1. And usually I'll ask you to take off 4 to 6 dB of gain reduction. So just keep talking for me again, Fred. One, two, testing, one, two, As he's talking, two, I'm bringing back to threshold one, two, one, two, three, four, until I see one, 4 to two, 6 dB test. of gain reduction happening. Hello, Mike. So that's my compression done. So again, if I want to EQ on the guitar, I'll select the guitar, turn on the equalizer. Click view. If I want you to put on a filter on the guitar, you click in low cut. Good. Hello. Click in low cut, and again, we might take off like 60 hertz on the guitar. And we can see there's a lot of energy there on the guitar around 2 300, so we're just gonna go to the low mids here. I'm gonna look for 2 or 300. Again, you can either read it here, or you can read it on the screen over here. I'm just going to make a little cut just to tidy up the sound of the guitar. So I'm going to cut out 5, 6 dB and I'm going to make it a little narrower. Now while he's playing.